Hi everyone, welcome to the Diecast Collection Video Arts channel. I will show you the 2005 Dodge Viper SRT10 Gran Turismo Edition by Hot Wheels. This model was released in 2016 and exclusive to Walgreens stores. The model appeared in multiple versions in the main line, but I think this version is better with the added paint designs. Like the other cars in the series, the Dodge Viper has paint designs that matches its Gran Turismo in-game model. Let us see how cool this shiny black Dodge Viper SRT10 looks when placed on racetracks. The red and white colors of the paint designs really makes the shiny black painted body look great. The Viper Tex and Gran Turismo logos look clear behind the front fender. The racer number on the door. I think this is smaller than the racer number on the doors of the other models. This little thing might be the muffler. I observed that most models cast the muffler with a plastic base and stick it out of the metal body. This time, that is molded with the metal body. I said that the paint designs made the body look great, right? That gets better with the shiny chrome paint on the rims. Well, like most models in the series, there are no paint designs here. Instead, we get a treat on the form details like the lights, license plate holder, and the diffusers on the plastic base. More of the front lights and Viper logo are in this part. A long pair of red paint stripes are in the middle, and those go until the back. Wipers on any model car always make it look better. More of the white red paint stripes are in the roof and the back. The interior has good details even if it is a bit hard to see with this black paint. There are two car seats, a steering wheel, and some controls in the middle. I think the seats are bucket type seats designed to be deeper with added cushions for racing. The dashboard does not have additional detail except for its basic form. Nice paints on the lights and logo. A close look at the lights show that there are some copper colors for the signal lights. There are holes under the lights that might be for air intakes or fog lights. The paint stripe in the middle continues to the grille and bumper. I think the designer did a good job in doing this. About the grille, some plastic parts are visible through the slots of the metal body. Those plastic parts have mesh patterns and I find those great. I just noticed this. My copy of this model has a dent on the roof. It is a bit disappointing, but it is still okay overall, I guess. This ends my take on the 2005 Dodge Viper SRT10 Gran Turismo Edition by Hot Wheels. Thanks for watching, enjoy your collection, and see you with the next model.